is I wanted to walk you through a little thing we call the do undo method. So when it comes to some of our simple equations, especially once you start seeing word problems, we can think of it as how did we get to where we got to? All right, up to this point, we'd all been about where do you start, where do you go? All right, but now we've ended up somewhere. We've ended up somewhere. So how did we get there? Is kind of our new way of looking at it. Okay, how did we get here? And so in this case, where we ended up was at negative seven. Right? That's where we've gotten to. Okay? So we are at negative seven right now. Well, how did we get there? How did we get there? And so I want you to think about all of these math problems as little itty bitty stories, little itty bitty movie scenes. Okay? And in order to undo it, to figure out where we started, we need to hit rewind. That's all we need to do. We need to undo it. And so think about our start. There's always X by itself. Think of that as like our hero in the scene. All right, he's gonna start out all alone. And then a series of events are gonna happen. All right, maybe unfortunate, maybe fortunate. But then at the end, he's a negative seven in this case, right? He's a negative seven now. So how did he get there? Well, he starts out all by himself, right? It's just X. And then what went down? What's the first thing that happened to our poor little guy? Right? Our poor little guy first got doubled, right? So we multiplied him by two. And I should really use a different sign. Right. So we multiplied by two. That was the first thing that happened to him in our story. And then the next thing that happens to him is that three is taken away from him. Right. So he doubles and then three is taken away. Right. So we're going to subtract three. Now in this case, only two things happened to him. He doubled. And then he had three taken away from him. And where did that get him? That put him at a negative seven. All right? Now, maybe there's still more to the movie. But we know he's now a negative seven. So now the question is, what was he at the start? Well, we know what happened to him. So if we undo what happened to him, we will reveal what he started at. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And so what this table is, this is going to be called the do undo table. All right. So our big mystery is what is X, right? Well, we know the series of events that led him to become a negative seven. We followed down the series of events and we ended up here at negative seven. So we just need to undo it. So how's that shape out? Oh, it's pretty basic. To undo the takeaway, you need to bring them back. Right? If there were three, if it was a bunch of superheroes and three of them left, well, to undo it, if you hit rewind, you're going to see them come back. You're going to see them come back. They're going to return to the team. Or maybe they don't die. Right? Maybe three died. We need to undo it. Right? And then in the movie, when the squad, all the superheroes, it doubled. Like maybe there were like five of them. And then all of a sudden we have ten. And then three died. All right? So in order to undo that movie, we need to bring those three back to life. And then half of them are going away. They're going back to where they were on the all corners of the planet. Right? Before they united. Right? Before they doubled their forces. So how do we do that? We need to send them all back away again. We need to divide by two. We need to say bye to half of them. And that gets us back to where we started. Right? So by doing this, by organizing it like this, this do-undo table, it's allowing us to keep the things in the right series, to keep things in the right sequence, to keep the events in the right order, because order is everything.